Hello, I am Walker, and this is Let's Play Politics, the video where I play a game, in this case, Mountain Blade Warband, multiplayer, and just go off on a subject that is pissing me off of a political nature. In this case, Syria. Should the U.S. get involved, or should we stay the fuck out? The argument is that chemical weapons were used and indiscriminately killed women and children, as well as rebel fighters. And that there is evidence to support that Assad used the weapons, or... I should say, ordered the use of the weapons. The counter is that the weapons may have been used, but not enough proof has been given that Assad issued the order, or if it was one of his lower-level commanders gone rogue, or if even the rebels themselves used the goddamn weapons. Now, during the Civil War, both sides have killed and or tortured uh, combatants as well as civilians. Both sides are guilty of acts that go against some of the basic rules of war, but the use of chemical weapons is not one of them, simply because Syria never signed the Chemical Weapons Convention. Uh, also, the fact that these weapons were used shouldn't be a factor in us getting involved. We've turned our back when they've been used before. When Iraq used them on the Kurds in the late 80s, I want to say, before we got involved with uh, Iraq after they took Kuwait. Um, Iraq using them on Iran. We turned our back to that because Iran was an enemy state at the time. Still is, of course. But, you know, it suited us, so we didn't care. And before the goddamn chemical weapons were even fucking used in Syria, it is estimated that in this civil war, because that's exactly what it is, a civil war, over 100,000 people have been killed. 100,000 people dead. And we didn't lift a little fucking pinky finger to do it. Over 1,000 people were killed by a chemical weapon. One that we don't like, ooh. Only when it doesn't fucking suit us d did we have to, oh, we have to do something. We have to do something now. I call fucking bullshit on that. We have put two wars on credit cards. We've been at war for 12 fucking years. As of October 2013. The United States has been in two wars. Well, one war. Iraq started in 20, uh, uh, yeah, 2003. But we as a nation cannot afford more war. We keep making cutbacks everywhere we can because we don't fucking have the money. Because we spent it on fucking credit cards for the war. I mean, it's it's bullshit. We don't have the cash. We don't have the funding. We don't have the backing of other countries except for France and Turkey. Big fucking deal. England. The guys who always fucking back us are not even taking part in this. Their people are fucking af uh, uh, tired of, uh, not afraid. They're fucking tired of war. The United States, we're a war-weary country. We've been at war way too long. We also have a shitty track record of going to war in the Middle East. You know, it never fucking goes well. We deposed the elected leader in Iran, put the Shah in power. His people take him out. Iran fucking hates us from that day on. I mean, we're still going on and on. We back Iraq in their fucking war against Iran. Chemical weapons used. Oop, doesn't matter. Uh, Afghanistan. We fucking <clears throat> effectively bought and paid for all the weapons that the uh, insurgents were using in Afghanistan. What happened? They attacked us later. What did we do? We dropped a steaming pile of freedom on them. That country is still fucked. Bombings, infighting, gotta love it, you know? Iraq. Oh, Iraq. We dropped a healthy pile of steaming freedom on them, too. What do you hear? Car bombs here, car bombs there. Sectarian violence, gotta kill each other. Freaking clan rivalries and bullshit in both countries and just... It's it doesn't go well. We keep fucking up these countries more than they were, um, and you know we, we ignore the countries that keep funding these goddamn assholes to the terrorists. Uh, not to say that it matters because we keep funding these assholes ourselves. So fuck it. Saudi Arabia they keep funding them. We keep funding them. It's just gonna be an endless cycle of us funding the assholes that are gonna kill us later on. You know. Uh, the President and the Secretary of State keep pushing Congress to vote for military strikes. Long ago, John Kerry, our very, very new, freshly minted Secretary of State, sat before a committee uh, of Congress, or I should say the Senate, and argued against the U.S. involvements in Vietnam. If you play that video, and video of him sitting before the uh, Senate Foreign Affairs Committee, he will be debating himself. Every argument, well, a lot of the arguments he used can still be used today. And, you know, the last part of this bullshit, let's attack Syria, 
is if we don't do anything, we look weak. Fuck that. Who cares if we look weak? We have the power to do anything against anybody that does stuff to us. That's all that matters. Fuck if we look weak. We need peace. We need downtime. Our country's fucked up. Our credit's fucked up. The only jobs in this country are part-time, minimum wage, the health insurance. Oh, everybody's going to have to, you know, have health care and shit. And it, it, it's still going to be expensive. Health care in this uh, country is ridiculously priced. If our biggest threat or if our biggest worry in the world is that we look weak, fuck it. Just say your piece on an issue. And if no violent action is taken upon us, walk away. Doesn't fucking matter. If violent action is taken upon us, then and only then do you fucking crush whoever was stupid enough to do that. And then, once you're done, that's it. You're done. Walk away. Aid the country to get back uh, to its uh, where it should be, but just nothing else. That's it. Done. End of it. We don't need to stay in the country for a decade. Just as fast as we can, we need to get the fuck out. Just build them up back in, uh, enough, because eventually somebody's going to take over. Governments fall constantly. Hell, we've helped assassinate how many world leaders in the last uh, 60 years? It all doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. We need to fucking stay out of other people's business and worry about ourselves for a while. Fuck it. I'm pissed off, irritated, and we're probably still going to fucking strike Syria anyway, so what does it matter? 